Alright guys, I am back here again with another egg cutting. Uh, this is going to be a uh, super lesser female, or rather she's actually a butter lesser. Um, I hatched her here in 2020. Uh, she could potentially have black pastel in her, uh, and she's had desert ghost. Uh, so I have six eggs here. This is her first uh, year producing. And I bred a Spectre Desert Ghost Hat Cryptic to her first. And then um, I switched it up and put uh, Orange Dream Yellow Belly Desert Ghost to her. So I would prefer the Orange Dream Yellow Belly DG have taken the clutch. If you've watched any of the other egg cuttings or any of that stuff, um, or any of the updates, uh, the Orange Dream Yellow Belly male that I have makes some really nice stuff. So right off the bat here, obviously it's a lesser, or butter anyways, uh, as everything should be. Uh, this animal is pretty clean looking. Uh, it does not appear to necessarily be anything else. Uh, it's not orange dream. I would say that it's possible it could be yellow belly or specter. Um, but what I'm thinking is, I think that might actually just be a butter desert ghost because it's really, really clean. So, right off the bat, I think that's a lesser or butter desert ghost. Um, if you're new to ball pythons, uh, lesser and butter are pretty much known to be the same thing. Uh, and they they uh, make a white snake super form. All right, egg number two is looking pretty much the same. Huh? Yeah. Looks pretty much the same. Really nice and clean. I don't know, that might be just another lesser slash butter desert ghost. Those look just about exactly the same. This one looks like it has a little more fading along the edge of the belly, so... The stripe looks kind of nice too, so potentially Spectre, not sure. Uh, definitely be easier to tell if something like Yellow Belly or Spectre was in that uh, when it's out of the egg. Number three is, oh, that is definitely a Butter Desert Ghost. Look at the head on that. That's really nice. So, since I have not seen Orange Dream yet, I'm thinking that Potentially, and that's definitely Desert Ghost right here. There's a good chance the uh, Spectre DG Het Cryptic took the clutch. So it's going to be harder to, to tell that something's a Butter Spectre than it would be if there was Orange Dream in here, that's for sure. But I would say that possibly this one here might have Spectre in it. Uh, with that, with the way that nice stripe is. Um, and then if it is uh, 
if the Spectre did take the clutch, everything will be 50% possible het cryptic. So that's a cool little bonus. The uh, animal is a little bit upside down in this egg. It's a little bit harder to see in this one. There we go. So, yeah, this is another really clean animal right here. So, oh, that's hard to say. It looks like, uh, you know, a good chance of Spectre being in that one, too, I would say. Cannot tell that with whether or not it's Desert Ghost. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier to tell Desert Ghost once they're out of the egg, and especially after they've had their first shed. Uh, Desert Ghost can be a little bit tricky. Uh, it really just depends on the combo sometimes. Uh, sometimes you can see it in the egg and it's plain as day. Sometimes you gotta wait until it comes out. And then sometimes you even need it to shed uh, once or twice. So another really super clean animal right here. This one has even more of uh, the kind of really nice edging along the belly there. So... You know, I've never hatched out anything that's yellow belly uh, and lesser, or spectre lesser, so, but yeah, I would definitely say that this one fits the bill, that, and nothing in this clutch so far, uh, five eggs in, has uh, yelled to me, hey, this is Orange Dream, so. I'm going to really guess at this point that the Spectre did take the clutch, and I would say that this has got to be a lesser Spectre right here, um, and it's super clean, so I would not be surprised for that to turn out to be Desert Ghost. So, so far, um, everything looks really clean, which is kind of a pain in the butt because that means you know, five of them in, highly doubtful that all five are desert ghosts, unless I just got the best odds ever. Um, it's more likely that, you know, at least one or two of those animals will color up more and not end up being DG. Alright, this is the last one, and again, a really nice clean animal. Again, it has that that whiter edging along the belly, where I would say it's probably Spectre. Uh, I am also, again, not seeing anything that says Orange Dream to me. But what I am noticing with this one is it's a little bit darker. Um, this one, I think, is going to turn out to not be Desert Ghost. I think this will be a uh, Lesser Specter Het Desert Ghost. Pos Hat Cryptic. So then, going back through, this one, I think is, ex I think this one's definitely going to be a Lesser Specter Desert Ghost. With how clean that is. Again, look at the difference in color and how oh, this one's a little bit brighter than this one. A little harder to see in the camera than it is in person. Almost look the same in, in the camera. Uh, but this is definitely darker, and this is much more washed out. So I think both of these will turn out to be lesser specters. This is a visual desert ghost, this is a hat. Uh, this one is extremely clean looking too. It's upside down, it's really hard to say. 
That could definitely be Spectre 2. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. Uh, I'm going to have to wait until they're out to be able to know how many DGs are in this clutch for sure. This one might turn out to not be DG. It's a little on the darker side too. Uh, I think there's a better chance of this one being DG than this one. And this one looks like it will probably be DG. Uh, it's very faint coloring in there. This is the one that ha that we saw its head. That one's definitely DG for sure. So, it does look like I am working with... Looks like we definitely probably hit the odds on 50% of the clutch being Desert Ghost. So, for anyone watching that's worried about the Desert Ghost stuff, uh, stop worrying about it because it still acts exactly the same as... Uh, we have known it to. Um, half of these will end up being visual desert ghosts. Uh, the only thing I would do is I would try not to ever do het to het. Uh, in a het to het pairing, you're already only going to get 25% chance of desert ghosts. So in a six egg clutch, just like this one, you would only have a chance of one and a half of these ended up being Desert Ghost. So that realistically means that only one to two of these would end up being a Desert Ghost. So think about that. If you're doing a head to head pairing and you only get one, you would have done that you, you would have uh, you would have done that no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So if you do you know, if it, let's let's just say that we didn't find out the new information and and or the new information came back and it wasn't uh, any different. It's a, it's just a a recessive. Well, one desert ghost out of six eggs could be expected, one or two. Okay, but with knowing what you know about, uh, you know, the new information with the with the desert ghost not being exactly a recessive if you did a head to hat with six eggs and you only got one desert ghost you would you would blame it on you know it not being a recessive you, it would it would give you kind of like a conundrum or you know mind fuck you in a, in a in a sense you know what i'm saying so personally i don't like to do head to hat pairings on anything if I do do a head to head pairing, it's usually like a, like visual for something, hat for another thing, put to a double hat for something, kind of a situation. Um, or, you know, with my triple recessive stuff where I'll be putting like visual double hat to triple hats, um, situations like that. So um, if I'm going to put one recessive to another, I'm never doing het to het. I always do visual males to het females, um, or visual males to a visual another visual female of a of a different uh, type to make double hats. Um, but what I really like to do is do something like uh, like this year I did a visual. I did a double visual uh, azanthic pied male to a clown het pied. Female. Both had uh, co-dominant genes in them as well. And then I hatched out half, you know, well I, well, I wouldn't say half. I actually did a seven egg clutch there, and I only got two azanthics. So even when it is uh, visual to het, you can still end up with the odds against you. So two out of seven when I should have had three to four out of seven. You know, so I got the same odds as if I was doing het to het. Uh, but the good thing about that pairing is now those hats are 100% hat. So, um, and that's exactly why I don't like doing head to head because I don't like dealing with possibilities um, if I can get away from it. So, all right, guys, uh, I'm done rambling. Uh, hope you guys are having a good season. Um, my season is going pretty well here. Um, now, if I can start hitting more of the females that I've been hitting. Uh, that would be great. So, 
Hopefully you guys are having a good one, and I will see you in the next one. All right, guys.